For the Pittsburgh Steelers, you have two options. You could continue to sink with the ship and allow it to drown everybody in the process, or you could turn a corner for the first time in three years and really see where this team can go now that it's past the rebuild. What's going on, everybody? I'm Noah Strackbine. Thank you for jumping on to Steelers To Go, your daily to-go cup of Pittsburgh Steelers news and analysis. Find us on YouTube.com slash All Steelers Talk and subscribe anywhere you get your podcast. Today, we are talking about the only topic of conversation that anybody around the Pittsburgh Steelers is talking about. They got great news with Kenny Pickett. He isn't expected to miss a long amount of time and honestly could play this Sunday against the Baltimore Ravens even after suffering a knee injury. But now the bigger question, and really the only question that anybody has when talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers is how long until they fire Matt Canada if they do so at all? I was talking to my neighbor the other day. I'm taking out my trash, and he walks by and he goes, did they fire him yet? I'm done watching until they fire him. He said that this is the first time that he is really putting down Mike Tomlin, that this is the first time that he's giving up on Mike Tomlin in his entire career of watching the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he's not alone. That's where the Pittsburgh Steelers are right now. Mike Tomlin has promised change for the umpteenth time, and at this point, nobody believes him. Everybody's just, well, you've given us the same BS for years, and you've never followed through on your promises. You're lying to us. That's what everyone at this point sees when Mike Tomlin says there will be change that comes. And meanwhile, everybody is screaming for the same thing. Matt Canada's got to go. The Steelers need to change their offensive coordinator. It doesn't even matter who they bring in. It doesn't even matter if they have another option. They just need to get rid of Matt Canada. Nobody is sitting around screaming, bench Kenny. Nobody is sitting around saying, you got to change the wide receivers or you got to replace your center. Everybody's got issues with all of those pieces to the puzzle. But nobody is filling Akrasher Stadium and chanting, bench Mason Cole. They are chanting, fire Matt Canada. And that is because at this point, there is only one step that you can take right now if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers. Every other step that follows is you working towards something much bigger than where you're at right now. But step one is firing Matt Canada. And every single person on both sides of any fence know that that is step one. This season has sparked conversation and debate in a number of areas. Is Kenny Pickett the guy is the big one? Are the Steelers still in a rebuild is another. Well, the Pittsburgh Steelers might be the first team in NFL history that successfully avoided a rebuild, that somehow kept their team alive and a playoff contender and a winning organization despite losing a Hall of Fame quarterback, their entire coaching staff pretty much, all of their defensive weapons outside of Cam Hayward and TJ Watt and rebuilt an entire offensive line from scratch they did all of that and they never had a losing season they kept the whole thing together they switched quarterbacks and that quarterback is struggling and they continue to be a winning team they are the first team in my memory that has been able to do this so successfully but Mike Tomlin is sitting there allowing Matt Canada to sink the ship and say hey no matter who you bring down with you no matter how bad this gets, we will allow you to sink this ship because we stand by you. But there's one reason and one reason only that you get rid of Matt Canada right now. And it's very simple. Adam Schefter went on the Pat McAfee show yesterday and said, I don't see how they could make any changes. They're stuck. Ian Rappaport said he doesn't see any harsh changes coming this week for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Neither of them get the point. It's not about replacing Matt Canada with the next big name coming up in the NFL. You're not going to do that midseason. It's about getting rid of Matt Canada so that you could do so many other things, that you could see where Kenny Pickett is, so that you could start to dissect the other holes in your offense. There are many of them, but you don't know what ones are real until Matt Canada is gone. That's where you start. Is Kenny Pickett the guy? You have no idea, but you're not going to know until you give him a full season without Matt Canada. And everybody acknowledges that, whether you're on the left or the right side of the picket fence, whether you believe 
that this guy is the franchise quarterback and deserves more time, or you're sitting around saying this guy isn't it, it's time to move on. Maybe we put Mitch Trubisky back in. Maybe we draft a quarterback after this season. Who knows? But Kenny Pickett is not the answer. You both agree that the Steelers need to give him time without Matt Canada before you make that final call. You can't do that with Matt Canada in the building. And you can't do it with every other position either. You can't sit around and say the offensive line is bad and the running game is bad and the wide receivers are playing poorly and nobody's got any effort when nobody in the stands believes in the guy calling the plays and you're somehow convinced that the players, whether they say it or not, are convinced and have any faith in the guy calling the plays. This entire process, this entire organization is stuck right here until you move on from that one piece and then you either drop down or you go higher then you either realize okay there are all these things that the Steelers need to fix or wow it really was just the offensive coordinator and the play calls and the Pittsburgh Steelers are ready to go make a splash you don't find any of that out until you take step one in the process but that's where Tomlin comes in and that's where things get tricky Mike Tomlin is one of the greatest coaches of all time, I would say. One of the greatest coaches of his generation, easy. Still remains a top 10 head coach in the NFL, I would say. But these past couple of years, it's getting harder and harder to defend him. It's getting harder and harder to acknowledge that he will say things like changes are going to come. Hell yeah, there's going to be changes. And then not make any change at all show up on Sunday night and say one thing and show up on Tuesday and say another thing just because you've been able to calm down. It's getting harder and harder to say that Mike Tomlin is an elite head coach when D'Amico Ryans, a first-year head coach, outcoaches him. And you say, hey, I mean, if the young buck, if the new, if the rookie can outdo you, maybe there are other rookies who could replace you. Maybe you're no longer invincible. Maybe for the first time, my neighbor saying that he can't support Mike Tomlin, there's something behind that. And that something right now is Matt Canada. He's the only reason that anybody has any lack of faith in Mike Tomlin right now. Why? Because Mike Tomlin's not a guy that could sit around and rely on crappy offensive coordinators. He can't sit around and be a guy who can't make play calls and not have somebody else who can't make play calls. You're trying to run an organization, run a franchise, run an NFL team with people who are incapable of controlling an offense. And in this day and age, that's the biggest part of football. Mike Tomlin will let this ship sink with Matt Canada. That's pretty known at this point. And every knock on him from here on out is worthy because of that. Because no matter how many people, and it's everybody, It's not one or two. It's everybody outside of maybe that fake Matt Canada burner account that is floating around on Twitter that I don't believe is really a burner account for Matt Canada. I think it's just some guy who loves Matt Canada. But if it is outside of him, every single person everywhere has the same understanding and wants the same thing. And somehow the Pittsburgh Steelers are sticking to their guns and saying, who cares? We know that we're wrong, but we're going to keep doing this. Doesn't make any sense. You're not helping anybody at this point. You're not clearing development. You're not protecting Kenny Pickett. You're hurting Kenny Pickett. At this point, all the Pittsburgh Steelers are doing is saying, whenever this project is over, chances are we're in a much worse spot than we are right now. Chances are when this project's over, Kenny Pickett is too damaged to overcome and we got to start over with our quarterback and we waste a first round pick on a guy that we believed in all because we wanted to protect him and keep Matt Canada around. That's all you're doing. That's all the Pittsburgh Steelers are doing. Doesn't make any sense. Nobody outside of the organization agrees with it. And at this point, it's as easy as it gets to acknowledge that they're just going to keep talking and keep talking and telling everybody what they want to hear without actually doing what they want them to do. Because that's who Mike Tomlin has become these days. That is who the Pittsburgh Steelers organization is accepting that they are. And that's what you get when you stand by somebody who's sinking your ship. And Matt Canada is sinking the ship.